Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial and this is a project which I actually did with you guys together and here I have a constant speed and for example if I press brake so in the back key get instantly and then I press again I'm having a constant speed value which is okay in my opinion but let's refine it because hey let's do it definitely definitely better and for that just to iterate so this is the original video to that which is six minutes so short also basically what I did I just turned this sprite 90 degrees around so just change the uh, image angle and then I just gave it a speed value which is constantly and then I'm pressing left or right to turn the image angle around and for example we are using this to uh, drive in that specific direction so basically we are having two, for two forces the direction where to go and the speed value to go and this is just basically it easy peasy stuff so this is the old code nothing too special about it we are just using the keyboard for left and right and then drive for up and then reverse for braking which is an instant brake but we want to have a fluid acceleration and for that we can actually use a thing which i have never used before which is called and this is an inbuilt thing which is great motion and then you have add and set and the difference between those two is one is just adding to the current speed and the direction and just adapting to it the other one is instantly setting those two but then you then you can just say hey speed is this and direction is this so we don't actually need it so what can we actually say hey here we just take an, as an input the direction which we are already using but to accelerate we just go hey Yes, this is the correct value. So basically what this code is doing, it is adding to our speed. And so it's adding to our speed constantly 0.01. And of course the direction is not changed because we don't change it by default. We just take the one which is given. And of course, if we are braking, well, we are braking a little bit faster. So therefore we just go minus. So you can actually use it as a counter force also. So let's see this. So let's say now we are not moving and I'm pressing forward. And as you can see, there is a fluid acceleration, which is pretty cool. For example, if we are using the brake button, we are slowing down, but not instantly, but with a delay. This is really, really cool to use. So let's go back in here. Of course, we can refine it with one little thing because there is a thing which is called friction. So this is all inbuilt stuff, which is the cool thing. And friction just means, hey, it will reduce our uh, speed constantly all the time. Let's go for 0 0.05 friction. So, for example, once we are using it, it will uh, well, reduce our speed value constantly. So, as you can see, and now I'm not pressing anything and the speed value goes down, which is the cool th stuff. So, once again, what I did, it, what I wanted to show you is motion add. Of course, if you use motion set, you instantly change the direction and uh, the speed value. But this is, well, then you can manually change those things if you like to other values. Eh, not so interesting, but motion add, very, very cool thing for acceleration, not just for top down gains. You can actually use it for, I don't know, a side scroller if you want to have an increased speed and decreased speed if you're using those inbuilt variables because, hey, this stuff is in there so maybe you have you want to use it like that so that was it for this video tutorial